Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Fawbless. Another federal judge has expanded a ruling that blocks the Trump administration's mandate protecting employers from being required to provide free contraceptive coverage. Now the decision applies to every state. Currents News' Emily Druby is here to tell us more. Emily, what's the latest? Liz, the new rules would have allowed more employers to opt out of providing contraceptives if they objected for religious or moral reasons. It was set to take effect on Monday. Now Catholic voices across the country responding to the injunction. U.S. District Judge Wendy Beetlestone in Pennsylvania issuing a nationwide injunction stopping the Trump administration from implementing the changes. In a 65-page decision, Beetlestone referred to an estimate that more than 70,000 women could lose coverage under the Trump mandate, writing, this state's harm is not merely speculative, it is actual and imminent. She added the loss of coverage could lead to women seeking state-funded services. Judge Beetlestone's decision coming less than 24 hours after a similar decision by a California judge that included 13 states and the District of Columbia. Reaction is pouring in. The United States Conference of Bishops released a statement saying in a free country, no one should be forced to facilitate or fund things like contraception, sterilization, and abortion-inducing drugs and devices, which go against their core beliefs. We pray that this decision will be appealed and that future courts will respect the free exercise arguments of the Little Sisters of the Poor and so many others who simply seek the freedom to serve their neighbors without the threat of massive government fines hanging over their heads. Christian Rada is the director of Respect Life Education in the Diocese of Brooklyn. Conscious has been defined as where the God's innermost sanctuary, where, where, where God and the person meet, you know, in that innermost sanctuary. So by the federal government violating that sanctuary, it's, it's a travesty. Alice Limos from the Bridge to Life, a charity that helps women in crisis pregnancies, had a similar reaction. Trying to roll back some teeny tiny protections of, for people who are either devout Christians, devout Jews, or devout Muslims so that they're not forced to pay for something that they do not believe in. The Order of the Little Sisters of the Poor have been battling the mandate for five years with the help of religious liberty law firm Beckett. In a statement, Mother Lorraine Marie McGuire saying, we never wanted this fight and we regret that after a long legal battle, it is still not over. Under the Obama administration, a small number of employers qualified for the exemption, like churches.